Lately, I've been having some pretty good luck on Facebook Marketplace. If you're new to the channel, I'm always looking for deals that I can grab on the cheap to be able to sell on places like eBay for a profit. And these two deals that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace during the week were so good, I felt like I had to make a video about it. Here's a look at the first purchase that I made yesterday. It was a Nintendo DS video game bundle. We had the Nintendo DS Lite console. It even had its stylus pen and we had 22 video games as well. Now, the first step of the process when I'm looking at the Facebook Marketplace listing is I'm actually scanning on eBay every single one of these video games to see if there's anything worth significant value. I actually found four games out of the 22 video games that were worth quite a lot of money. The first one that I've got here is Mario DS. That one was going anywhere between $40 to $50. We had Animal Crossing Wild World. That was going for $65 to $70. We had Mario Party DS as well. That one was going for about $40 to $50 as well. And then we also had Sonic Colors, complete with manual, going for about $25. Bucks. So having done the numbers on that, I realized that these four video games, there was gonna be about $180 worth of estimated resale value. And I bought this entire bundle for $150. I paid the full asking price because I knew these alone were worth 180. The rest of these video games, there's 18 plus the console that I'm gonna do as a bit of a bundle. And we're gonna be able to get all of this done for about $150. So that brings us up to 330. We paid 150, but that's not the deal. What came along with it was this Nintendo DS case and hiding inside the case were a bunch of Game Boy Advance games. And this was kind of discarded on her part as a seller. She kind of just threw these in, but I was really curious to see what they were. And there was some absolute bangers in there, which has made this deal an absolute cracker. If I take you through a few of them, the best of the bunch, we've actually got Sonic Advance here. That one was worth about $50 for a cartridge alone. Uh, we've also got a couple of Dragon Ball Z games here as well. Dragon Ball Z, Boo, uh, Boo's Fury. That one was going, believe it or not, for about $65 for just a cartridge alone, which I thought was nuts. And then this one here as well, we've got Dragon Ball Z, the, Legends, uh, the legacy, I can't talk today, of Goku. Um, that was going for about $35 to $40, I think, from memory. So there's a bunch of other games here that aren't worth that much money, sort of around the $15 price point. But all up, these extra video games, I think I'm going to be able to sell for about 200 bucks. So when you add all of it up, I think there's about $550 worth of value here, and I've paid just $150 to get my hands on it. That's how I break down these video games. It's a huge category to be finding if you're searching for items to sell on eBay on Facebook Marketplace. And I've got another one that I'm going to show you a little bit later on in the video. So stick around for that. I also want to give you guys a bit of an update on how the business is going for the month of April. And if we have a look at the numbers, we've been able to do $3,475 worth of revenue so far in the last nine days. That's $386 per day. We need to be doing 433 if we want to hit our goal of $13,000 worth of revenue. So we're tracking 11% behind, but we've got three weeks to make it up. So I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to do that. Last week in revenue, we did $2,938, uh, which was 22% down on the previous week, but we had a bumper 50% off sale with our Instagram audience, uh, and that allowed things to obviously inflate a little bit. So we've just come back down to what is usually typically about a $3,000 revenue average, which I'm pretty happy about. So things are tracking along pretty well. We've got a massive uh, four-day public holiday long weekend uh, to take you through today for a what sold, and we've had 52 sales come through. I'm going to really try and quickly speed through this process and show you some of the best stuff uh, because we've got another Facebook Marketplace pickup that I want to show you afterwards. So big what sold coming up. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we're going to kick it off with the DVD category. We actually only had 10 sales come through over the weekend, which is a little bit down on what we typically get, but I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, a couple of really good ones that I want to take you through here. The Mighty Boosh, uh, that one there on DVD, sold for $30, and I've sold that one a couple of times before, so that was good to see the box set coming through. Um, these steel case DVDs, I wanted to talk about those. I've been selling a lot of this steel case stuff. It's a Blu-ray. Um, and it's Captain Marvel, so anything sort of Marvel Studios related in a steel case just goes for a little bit more money. So when you're scanning the thrift stores, make sure you're looking out for that steel case stuff. Uh, we've got a $35 sale price on that one there. You may have remembered a Monday vlog from a few weeks ago. Courtney and I went out to our local thrift store and we found this. It was $15, a bunch of Star Wars, the Clone Wars DVD set. Um, this was every single season, season one to five, and we've got a $109 sale price on it. Uh, there was a 10% discount that was utilized, so I brought it down to $98.10. Um, that should be about $10 to $12 to ship off. So it's gonna be some huge profit in that one. Sell-through rate on that was probably about two or three weeks. 
So that was really cool to see. And then these ones here, well, they all sold between sort of $15 to $25. Check this out guys, 17 video game sales have come through, which is really exciting to see because in past weeks of these what solds, we haven't had too many video game sales, but I've never been too concerned because we haven't been listing up the category. Whatever you list is what you will eventually go on to sell. So for the fact that we've now had 17 sales, it's no wonder because we've been listing up all of the video games that we're able to pick off Jamie uh, just last week. So there's a couple here that I wanna take you through that are really, really good. And the first one here is Resident Evil 4 on the PlayStation 2. That one there sold for $30, which was awesome. Uh, this one here as well on the Xbox original, we've got Grand Theft Auto. I think this is number three and four um, as a bit of a double set. That one sold for $39.99 plus $20 worth of international postage. So make sure you got your internationals on for your video games. Uh, this one here as well, Toy Story 2 on the PlayStation 1. It's my favorite category to sell uh, in the video games, the PlayStation 1 games. Uh, we got a $49.95 sale price for that one there. Pretty beat up case as well. There's some serious cracking on that, uh, but I showed it in the photos, so there was no issues there. And this is, a, this is a pretty crazy story, guys. You guys probably know about the fact that this game, Mario Kart, on the Nintendo Wii, goes on to sell well. I actually had three separate listings for this game go up last week, and all three of them in the same week have gone on to sell. And we pretty much got a $30 sale price across all three of these. So a really fast moving item, this one. If you can find it, you can pretty much guarantee yourself a sale. All right, the shoe category, guys. We've had five sales come through in this one. Um, these are a couple of my favorites. We've got the Reebok LX 8500s here. Uh, pretty much a like new pair of shoes, to be honest with you. I don't actually think they've been worn. Have a look at it. Um, $60 sale price on these. Had them up for 80 Took a best offer in the end for 60 bucks. Remember, 50% of my sales are accepting best offers. It's 60 bucks that I now have because I went ahead and said yes. So would have bought them for about $10. Still some really good profit. Happy to take the best offer. And then these ones here. These are an unreal pair of shoes. We've got the Nike. These are the sneaker boots. Um, they're some high tops. They are also waterproof as well. And again, the condition of them, guys, is pretty much like new. Um, I actually paid up for these in the flea market about a year ago and I had them priced so highly for so long that they just weren't moving. Uh, and I brought the price down slowly but surely every single month uh, until the end we got $120 worth of a sale price on this one here. So I'm not wrapped about it because 120, take off 70, you ship it off, eBay fees. I think we're making about $20 worth of profit. And when I first bought this shoe, I thought there was gonna be a whole lot more profit in it. But not to worry, we still got 120 bucks. Happy to see it come through. Alright, so we've been listing a lot of Funko Pops recently and we've had two sales come through. Um, one for South Park, Mr. Garrison for $22.50 and then a bundle of the DC Comics bombshells which was $40 for all three. Um, when we ship the Funko Pops we always put them in boxes um, and yeah, it's really good to see them sell. All right, we had a few other action figures going to sell as well. These were pretty awesome guys. We've got the Digimons, the little tiny Digimon figures. Now. Uh, we have three different listings for these. I've been breaking them up into their collections, collection one through to about 35, something like that. Uh, but somebody came through and picked up three different listings and we got a $94 sale price for all of these guys. So if you can be finding just little critters like this, these little Digimons, and they've often got their little date mark on the bottom there, 1998, these are the originals. Um, you're getting about 10 bucks each for these things, which I would have absolutely not believed a couple of months ago. So 10 bucks each, there's nine of them there. Uh, we obviously got a pretty good sale price of $94. Uh, there was a couple more, which were these two here in the action figure category. Uh, this dude here is a Power Ranger um, Transformer of some kind. I don't know my Power Rangers from back in the day. I do apologize for any Power Rangers fans out there. Uh, $28.50 of a sale price for that one there. And then this one as well, don't know who he is, don't care, because we've got a $25 sale price and he's out the door. All right, we've got a few random items to take you through in just a second, but I wanted to show you this one, the big guy. Um, this one is a double deck tape, uh, cassette tape player. Back in the day, Technics, um, I actually can't remember how I got my hands on this. It was, I think it was in a bulk buy and uh, I didn't know how to price it, didn't know how to test it. It does turn on and work, uh, but I did have to kind of say that I wasn't sure if it worked in its entirety. Um, so it was kind of a parts only type sale, even though it was lighting up, I just wasn't hundred percent sure. Um, but we got a $75 sale price. I tried to go for a hundred bucks um, got the best offers come through around the 50 to 70 mark 
and ended up striking a deal at uh, $75. So it will go into a box and it will cost a bit of money, but still happy to get it out the door because it's not something that I kind of want lying around the house. And then the last four items that we had were these ones right here, which all came through with some pretty good money. This first one here, Fallen Sun, the comic book collection. I think it was a partial set. Uh, I think we got a $25 sale price on this one here. Always best to do your comic books in a bundle. And then this Zach Power book series as well. I don't really sell a lot of books, as you guys know, uh, but we've got a $35 sale price on that one there. This Monopoly we got for $35 and then a $40 international shipping fee as well to the USA, um, which is pretty good. And then the Coca-Cola McDonald's uh, glasses for $60. For 60 bucks. I would not have assumed that that would sell no. for $60. But we've got a set of five, 60 bucks. We'll put that one into a box to make sure it's safe. And then, yeah, a big international sale there with $40 worth of shipping. So four really cool sales to round it out. So there you go, guys. A couple of really cool sales that came through from over the weekend. I want to jump into yesterday's Facebook Marketplace pickup number two because this one was better than the first one, to be honest with you. Let's roll the footage. I'll show you what I got. All right, guys, you got voiceover Matt here. This was an unbelievable Facebook Marketplace buy, guys. And there's two categories that I love to sell on eBay. We've got DVDs and we've got a bunch of video games coming up as well. As you'll notice, I'm actually just picking out the TV show box sets, which is just what I always do. All of the underneath layer there is just movies and none of them were searching up to be that worth an incredible amount of money. So I just left them. But have a look at this. We've got some really, really good video games here. You might notice a couple of really good ones in this mix right here. This is a perfect example, Armored Core 5. It actually goes for over $100, a super rare game. And the way he was selling them was basically buying them all for like 50 cents each and all he wanted to do was sell them for a couple of bucks. So really, really cheap sort of a turnaround for him in the sense of just trying to double, triple his money. But for me, putting it onto eBay, you know, that $2 buy is turning into $100 on eBay. So massive opportunity here to continue to work with this guy because he's seriously just stoked to double his money and I'm stoked to get such good value off him. So Armored Core 5 there, look at that. Armored Core 4 as well, guys. Rare, rare video games in this mix and this guy has no idea about it. So all that was left once I picked out all these games and DVDs was just to try and negotiate a price. And at the time, I had no idea what he was gonna say. I think there were six different TV show sets. There was one there, two there, three there, four there, five there, okay. and then six, and then some individuals for seven eight nine and well, nine because that one's that one's in there yeah so there were nine different sort of tv show bundles yeah so i don't know if you wanted to do it per the individual dvd or if you wanted to do it per the set uh, i just do it cheap per set i don't know how you want to do it yeah. I'm, I'm very easy even if it was like per the actual dvd case we could do a price and then count them all up and work out how much it would be there's 26 games there that's dvds that's all games 20 bucks a lot is that I, too much? No, I can I can do how about forty bucks. Forty bucks, you yeah. sure? Yeah. I'll give it to you for thirty. No, I'll do it for forty. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll do it for Man. forty. Because okay, I'm gonna okay. keep working with you, right? Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Sounds yeah. good to me then. Keep yeah, working with you. It. So I'll give you I'll give you forty. Yep, cool. Um and then we'll um hopefully you can find some more stuff. I will and I'll put them aside for you, trust me. I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's fifty. Are you sure? Yep, I've got change. No, no, no. I've got change no, on no, me, mate. No, oh, no, cool. I'll take it, mate. That's all oh, yours. Too easy, bro. That is all yours. Fucking sweet. Um, I'll remember that next time. I'll give you a good deal next time. No, you already are, mate. I'm, oh, I'm that's complete, easy, mate. completely fine with that. And cool. fingers crossed there's another stack just like this. And cool. um, I'll, I'll, I'll keep buying it. So there you go, guys. If I'm honest, I had no idea that these two games, Armored Core 4 and 5, were actually worth upwards of, what, $200 worth of value? Just absolutely insane. I'm going to be using this guy as a contact moving forward because truly, he, he absolutely doesn't know the individual value of anything because he's never sold on eBay. All he sees it as is a video game and I'm not going to ask any more questions. I'm just going to give him what he wants. I had to pay him a little bit more today. I gave him $50 because I just thought that $30 or whatever it was was just way too cheap. Um, so yeah, hopefully he can uh, yeah, use me as a contact moving forward for more video games and DVD buys because uh, he's clearly got some good contacts based on what you've seen here. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. Appreciate you being here for this one. Remember to hit the like button. Helps the channel massively. Subscribe to the channel, guys, as well if you're new. We'll see you in the next video.